What is up guys, my name is Talha and you're watching Gadgets Sphere. So this is Arrow OS running in Poco X3 Pro. This is Arrow OS Android 12 and it is running very very smoothly. And you know what, I have been using this since around two days now and I'm going to give you my, you know, impressions about it. Mind you, this is not a full review, it is just an impressions video. But first of all, let's talk about its smoothness. This ROM is very very smooth, like this is the smoothest Android 12 ROM you can get for the Poco X3 Pro. And there's one problem that is TWRP does not work in this room. That's basically because Android 12 is very new right now and TWRP is not working like the storage is not showing right now. So to install any other room after this you will have to do a workaround for that and yeah now instagram is also working absolutely fine the scrolling is good but at times instagram takes up a lot of time to open so that is i think a bug and yes that bug is present in a lot of apps open some apps and they take up a lot of time to open and that is very very annoying because you know maybe you are in a hurry or you want to just show off someone that my phone is very fast that thing you can't do in this android 12 and now let's talk about its uh, speakers its speakers the bottom speaker is working absolutely fine but but the top speaker is not that loud in this room particular arrow s android 12 in arrow s android 11 it's awesome and yes the performance is very very bad it's basically the worst i have ever seen in the poco x3 pro now let me show you guys here in the history it is really awful like i was even shocked by how bad the performance is look at this 368 and 1687 that's really awful like 368 basically is like the note 7 pro's performance and yeah the multi-core is also very very bad it's somewhere around the samsung galaxy a70 i guess yeah a71 whatever so yeah the n22 the geekbench every score is very bad obviously it's a beta type of build but it's an official build first of all it's not a you know experiment build something like that and one more very annoying thing is that is moment doesn't work by what by that i mean that the themes doesn't work in this room you can't even change the accent color so it is just saying it's android 12 for the sake of saying but the display quality is awesome like i have also tried the pixel experience plus android 12 and in that the colors are very muted and it just looks awful but here the colors are very nice they look very nice and colorful vivid but yeah when the performance is bad it just doesn't matter. Calculator is the only app which supports the Android 12 theme. All the apps in this is just running in Android 11. And that is very awful. Like if you're installing Android 12, you should get that, you know. And now it also has Google Camera Go. And that is also pretty respectable for its performance. It does work really well in Android 12. And you know what? The normal Gcam also works very well in Android 12. So that is a big plus point. But that's about it. You don't get anything new. And it's actually not worth upgrading rating to android 12 from 11 right now as of now and yeah you also don't get unlimited storage so that's pretty much it for my first impressions of android 12 arrow os running in the poco x3 pro i can say it's pretty good but it's not, certainly not the best and perhaps there are much better rooms which will come in the future so let's just wait and see which is the best and yes make sure you subscribe because i just want more subscribers that's it peace out